hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel it is christian here you're tuned in for more of my two cents if you are new to the channel then welcome thank you so much for tuning in today hopefully you will click around stick around enjoy the dialogue and the conversation over here about a lot of different things you know i touch on the things and this week i'm giving reaction videos okay i'm doing my thing and i'm not on camera because I want y'all to see this stuff. Some of this stuff has happened over the last couple of months, but y'all know I like to do a re-catch, like a rehash, just catch y'all back up and give y'all my two cents on things that you all probably have already seen. But, you know, I'm going to add my pizzazz and my opiniones on top of it because that's what we do over here, okay? And if you are a returning two center, then welcome back, family. I'm so glad to be here with y'all today. Uh, we got a good one, you know, queued up because, baby, it is giving confusion on the plane. D plane, Z plane. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. But before we get there, three points that matter most. You, number one, you're not alone. Number two, you're not crazy. Number three, God, your creator so loves you, and I do too. Now, the video that I'm about to play is of a singer, okay? It is a singer. And the funny thing about it is that I would call her a gospel singer, but I don't think she's a gospel singer. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think that she is a singer who sings with, um, oh my goodness. <sighs> she sung with Maverick City. That's who it was with. She sung with Maverick City. And I actually need to find her name. That's what I need to do real quick. I need to find her name so that I can give y'all the proper, the proper uh, conversation of her. Bobby Storm, Bobby Storm. Mm -hmm. Bobby Storm is who we are going to be looking at today. And we're going to be, you know, uh, let me let y'all watch this video and I'll be back with my two cents. I'm up for two Grammys. My very first time, you guys. My name is Bobby Storm, and I'm up for two Grammys. I sing for the Lord, and my song is out on all platforms. It's called We Can't Forget Them. Michael McDonald cleared it. Warren G is on the original record as well. It's with Regulators. I want to share this with you guys. I wanted to do it when I first got on the plane, but I was like, you know, I, I haven't done this in a while. I've gotten to the next status, so. Are you to be quiet? But they're enjoying it. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. So I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, well, that's I a find yes, that up. That's a yes or no uh, answer, please. Am I going to go to jail if I don't? Can you please answer my question? Are you willing and able to be quiet right now? I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do. I'm asking you a question, yes or no. I'm your flight leader. I need you to follow my instruction. Okay. My instructions for you to answer my question. Are you able to be quiet What right do you now? guys think? I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm asking you guys. What do you guys think? Okay. Think? If you're not able to, be, to follow my instruction, yeah. you will not be taking this flight. Ah, uh, okay. Are so you that's able to be asking. quiet? If that's the case, then that's fine. If you were the so person that's yes? in charge of it all. I'm your flight leader, yes. If you're the person in charge okay. of it all, then that's okay. fine. Okay, all right. Thank all you. Right. So I'm singing on a low for y'all in the day. I'm up for two. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. She gonna learn today. Baby, when I tell y'all, sis, okay, Bobby Storm, not Bobby Brown, not Bobby Jones, okay? This is Bobby Storm. Bobby. Oh, not Ricky Bobby. Bobby. Ooh, Bobby, 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 Bobby. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Where do we start? This video started off left. Let me give y'all some background though, okay? So just from a, a couple of clicks and scrolls, I just did a couple of quick clicks and scrolls because I don't want to look too far into these people's backgrounds because I don't care that much, but I care enough, okay? Just through going through her, just going through her social media, she sings on the plane. Like I saw a video from her in May on her timeline where she sung to the mothers on the plane for Mother's Day, right? She has done this before and she gave a video. OK, after talking about how she led to singing this song on the plane. And before I play that video, I'm going to go ahead and give my two cents on this video that we just watched. So she does sing on planes. That is her thing. OK, but I think let's pinpoint some things here. Number one. 
she was talking to and addressing the plane and sharing her good news of being nominated for a Grammy. Okay. And she said that it was a new song. Um, and yeah, that now that she's reached this new height in her career, she wants to share that good news and celebrate it with everybody else on the plane and sing the song for them. She gave them the background of who cleared the song and who's featured on the song and all of that. That flight attendant was not having it. Do you hear me? He wasn't having none of it. <laughs> he, that baby walked up to her and said, are you going to be quiet? Okay. Well, I'm singing for the people that enjoy it. I'm not enjoying it. He, he looked at her. If y'all look, and I'm going to play it again. But if y'all looked at him, he stood there when she was just talking, like just looking at her. And he let her talk. And he walked off. Then she was still talking. And that's when he asked, are you going to be quiet? Now, I have to say, again, some other things here. When you are on an airplane, um, and I think this is just like in general, a consensus. It's a tight space. You're around. Everybody's a stranger to you on an airplane if you're not with them. So you have to understand that space, peace, um, and like privacy space peace and privacy all of that is up for grabs you can have a child to be in your space you can have a child to disturb your peace you can have a child to you know violate your privacy it's none of those none of those things exist you can have an inebriated person in your space you can have a sleepy person in your space falling asleep on you you can have somebody talking loud or watching something without headphones Space, privacy, peace, all of these things are up and open for someone else to violate them in this tunnel known as an airplane. When I get on an airplane, you have got to shut up. I'm telling you right now, I don't even want the people with me. If I'm traveling with my husband or my kid, we're not, everybody just trying to get to where they're going. It ain't about extra noise. It's not about engaging and conversing. Be quiet and I want you me personally as a traveler I want you to be quiet for three reasons for one I don't want to talk to you we're in a we're in a tight space the likelihood of us connecting and communicating behind but I mean beyond eyes and smiles very low because I don't want you to talk to me the whole plane ride I'm usually asleep before the wheels go up okay baby the sound of the wind of the engines put your girl night night I don't even know when we take off. That's how quick I go to sleep on a plane. So don't talk to me because more than likely you're going to keep me awake longer than I need to be. That's number one. Number two, ever since, you know, we've had 9-11, all of those things, people are usually on edge on airplanes. You are really at the mercy of the pilots, um, possibly passengers, and your flight attendants. And you just cannot risk missing any information, any updates, alerts, or anything. Everybody is just trying to get to where they're going. And so I feel as if, though, even if Bobby Storm thought she was going to bless the people with the song, you didn't get permission to do that. And people did clap for her that were back there on her part of the plane, which I think is great and supportive. But at the end of the day, what is important to you does not become everybody else's importance. What is great news and good news for you doesn't automatically becomes everybody else's great news and good news. And so you have to be mindful of that. And you may be on the plane with some people who don't mind. You may be on the plane with some people who do. Either way, all I'm going to say is if it was a crying child or if it was an angry spouse or person, you would want them removed. So her wanting to share her celestial voice or, you know, a Grammy nominated song now, all of a sudden, that's okay to do because it's a gospel song, because it's a, a Christian artist. Like, no. Can anyone else of any other religion or belief stand up and sing a song? No. This is the stuff that I'm talking about with the complete and utter entitlement that Christians have. Like, y'all got to stop trying to force your beliefs and your thoughts on other people to accept this stuff when they don't want to. I don't want to hear it. I just don't. I'll never forget. Great. Hum it to yourself. Sing it to your, to your, 
to your row member, the person on the row with you, sing it to them. And if somebody else hears your vocals and your tunes and your sounds and your riffs, honey, let them say, oh, girl, you can blow. Then you, you know, tell them I was I, I actually, you know, the song I just sang has been nominated for a Grammy. Say that a little bit louder. Child, get your, you know, flex on the people. But don't just make everybody else sign up for a damn concert that didn't buy a ticket for a concert. Now, that's just my take on that. But what this flight attendant did was really what all of us would like a flight attendant to do for children that may be unruly, adults who may be piping up too much, like sit down and be quiet or get off. Because see, at this point, it is a disturbance. It is a distraction. And it is something that we don't all desire to be a part of. And it's not fair. Babies can't control their crying. Adults can control their behavior. Bobby here decided she wanted to be a musical instrument. Of praise because she was Grammy nominated and we're going to soon find out that she wasn't specifically nominated a song that she was a part of through Maverick City group was nominated and that is the song so her herself her name is not on a ballot for any Grammy but I'm assuming that if Maverick City wins she would maybe get her own award for her house I don't know all the particulars I just know that it is not Bobby Storm name by itself that's nominated it's a song that she is featured on that is nominated that she is a vocalist on it could be as a group it could be as an individual whichever one you want to take this as all I know is sis possibly could have been on the no fly band list for trying to do this and then at the end having the audacity to say I'm going to sing it for y'all on the low back here if y'all don't mind. When she asked them people, do y'all want me to sing? What? When he said that he won't enjoy it and she said, I rebuke that. What? What are we rebuking again? What are we rebuking? Why are we rebuking him for doing his job to keep the peace and keep it quiet? You're in other people's space. You're disturb You could possibly be disturbing other people's peace, making this announcement that is not important. That is not coming directly from our captain, who is what, which is the voice that people need to be listening for. You're projecting your voice for something that only has to do with you. You should have did this at your gate before you got on this plane. Now, if you say something else, sis, if you say something else, them finger waves, okay, are going to be at the Fox car rental getting you, you know, through the highways and the byways because you won't be on the airwaves. You won't be on the airwaves with those finger waves. You're going to be on the highway and the byways with them finger waves. Because I'm going to put you off this plane. Hmm. My God. It's the question. It's the complete opposition. And, and to me, it is the audacity to think, again, as I say, that because it's a gospel song and because to you, you're glorifying God. To you, you're glorifying God. Can anybody else do that? Does anybody else want to do it? I think that's my thing. Why is it that Christians be the only one being whispered and told to do this stuff that is usually very, very bold and usually an imposition on others? Why are they the only ones whispered, see my child? <laughs> like, prophesy my child right like why is it they are the only ones told to do this stuff why why have I never been approached by or talked to about or you know like summonsed by someone of another religion nobody else has ever come to me like you know what Allah would laid it on my heart to you know tell you this or you know Buddha you know instructed me or told me moved on me to you know none of oh my god these things have not happened if they have drop down in the comment section below and let me know your situation it's always christians god said god showed me god told me god moved god spoke no go sit down put your seatbelt on put your back in your seat close your eyes and sing this song to yourself ma'am the people on this plane is my responsibility. Shout out to the Rugrats. You will not take over this trip because if you do it and this goes viral as it did, you now set a precedence 
for there to be unruly behavior on a plane. We cannot have it. We will not have it, no. We will not have it. Shout out to Mbaku on the good Black Panther. We will not have it. One can represent all. You must be stopped. And not in the name of the Lord, but in the name of the law. Sit down and shut up. Now, let's listen to the video response from Miss Bobby Storm. My neighbor, I really want to get up and sing on this flight. And she's like, sing on a flight. And I'm like, yeah, I used to do that back in the day. And I'm feeling it right now. I haven't done it in years, but I'm feeling like sharing my joy with people because I just got nominated for the first time for a Grammy. And all of a sudden, they made an announcement and said, we have to go back to the gate. There's a brief maintenance issue. So for those of you with the connection, you have the option to get off or whatever the case may be, but we have to go back to the gate. I knew instantly that was God. My neighbor. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Bobby is not sorry. Bobby is not apologetic. Bobby is not concerned. Bobby is. Hmm. What's the best word? Bobby is convinced again, that this was an assignment from the Lord. And I got to tell you that video gave great context to whether or not this plane was in motion because that does matter. It matters, y'all. So let's say kudos to you for only choosing to do this because this plane went back to the gate because it ain't no way that you would have been in Beyonce's air talking about you want to sing this song for the plane. Nah, baby, you not going to stand up. You not going to hum and haw in this air. <laughs> you're immediately going to get put on the band no fly zone when we land. Because you're not going to take over this plane with your voice. That's what we're not going to do. That's a distraction and a disturbance that people may not know what it is for and what you're doing and what you're trying to signal and have pop up. It's too much. It's too much. And y'all like to say that God is not the author of confusion, but uh, according to some of his minions which is y'all according to some of the lord's representatives y'all have nothing but drama following you and this is a prime example why sis thank you for deciding to do it once the the the, the plane got back to the gate but you could have got off the plane and sung at the gate that's what you could have done you said it gave people the choice to deep deep board get off and sing it but I get it. You feel like, oh, we just sitting here. We ain't in motion. Let me get people a little entertainment. So on that front, I will give her some grace. I will extend some under. What I need from you is understanding. Okay. Other Grammy Award winning, you know, singers escape. I will give you some understanding in that case, Bobby. We will understand that you decided to sing because y'all was just sitting there. Got it. That man wanted you to be quiet and he told you and you said that you rebuked that and that the people was enjoying it and he told you that he was not and she decided that she was going to ask the people what they thought and ain't nobody respond to her because they didn't want to get off the plane. That is another indication of it not being a God assignment. You don't have no supporters and no backers. That sweet old Asian lady in the video in the beginning, like she was clapping and smiling. You could see her face like she was diagonal from her. You could see her in the shot of this video. When that man came over there, that woman looked straight ahead like, say my business, leave me out of this. Mm -mm. <laughs> Baby, I got somewhere to be. And then when I tell you, I will not. She went on DND. Do not disturb, baby. Don't ask me nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. That woman did not turn back around. She was smiling and clapping and shaking her head at first. And then when that man came, <laughs> look around, everybody on mute. <laughs> <laughs> everybody on that plane did the Beyonce new challenge, baby. They was like, Bobby, you on your own. Okay. We want to make it home. <laughs> The takeaway here is to sit back and shut up, okay? And even if you are a Grammy Award-nominated artist, I feel as if, though, 
you have been able to lift your voice and sing to the heavens, which has gotten you that accolade. Let that be enough. Do you know how many people are gifted and talented that are moving around in crowds or people have no idea who they're in the midst of and those people don't feel the need to tell them? Let me say that again. Do you know how many people are doing awesome, amazing things with great high accolades and highly esteemed and they don't feel the need to tell somebody, oh, I was I was just nominated for this award and I was just given this and I just received that and now I'm getting, I'm a Pulitzer Prize winner and I'm a New York Times bestseller. You, uh... Yes, your happiness is yours and you wanted to share with others. Do it with people on your row. Do it with people on your row, okay? Because you got to know that there's a time and a place for all of these things. And when you step out of line at the wrong time, that's when somebody going to check your behind and that was the flight attendant, okay? All right. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about Bobby Storm wanting to share the song on her heart. And let me tell y'all that she did proceed to sing that song in a whisper voice. I ain't played the whole video through, um, but she did. She proceeded to sing the song. And I don't know if he rolled back through them. Maybe he didn't. Uh, and she also was, you know, trying to advocate for Delta. I believe that was the name of the airline that she was on. She tried to, you know, get them to do something to him or some. They released a statement too, I believe. But baby, it don't even matter. You were in the air. It would be different if you was at Quick Trip, if you was at down to the 7-Eleven, if you was down to the Waffle House, baby. They would have let you do it. They would have recorded you and sung with you. But when you are on an airplane in America that has already experienced something as traumatizing, okay, and historical as what we have in the past, you do not get to sing, shout, jump, none of that. When I'm on it, be quiet so I can pay attention and hear what I need to hear. If you want to sing, get out and go back to the concourse, go back to the gates and let the Lord use you. Okay. Until then, I need you to not lift every voice and sing. Put your little neck pillow on, close your eyes and enjoy the sound of the engines. <laughs> Not the sound of the angels, but enjoy the sound of the engines, okay? All right. If y'all have enjoyed this video, like it. Comment below and let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to add you to my Two Cents crew. Until next time, stay safe and stay quiet. See y'all in the next video. Bye.